Oh, the princess is here. Eee! I'm so excited. As twilight gallops to the door, you feel your pulse skyrocket. You cannot for the life of you even imagine a scenario here in which you're not totally fucked. You are totally fucked. Welcome, princess. Come on in, your faggotness. Twilight turns to wink at you. You force out a supportive smile and take a seat. If Celestia is going to kill you, you might as well be in a comfy chair for it. Twilight, take a seat. There's something we need to address. Sure, princess. And here, you can have the whole sofa for yourself and your big, fat, cellulite-ridden ass. Oh, dear lord. Twilight Sparkle, just what has gotten into you? Last we spoke, you- I'm gonna stop you right there, Princess Sucklestia. Wow. Good one, Twy. I want you to know right now that the reason I would have never learned to act this way if it weren't for this faggot right here. Twilight walks to you and drapes a hoof around your shoulders. Celestia looks you dead in the eyes. Is that so? This is it. You don't respond. You don't even panic. You just sit still and await death. That's right, Princess Cumcoat. It's all because of Anon. I see. Your only wish is that it is a swift and painless death. Twilight, it truly hates me to say this, but I'm afraid I can no longer allow you to study friendship under my mentorship any longer. Until I hear a genuine apology for your actions, both you and your friend are hereby banned from entering Canterlot. I do not wish to see you or hear from you until I see a real change in behavior. Do I make myself clear? Doe-eyed Twilight very gently nods. Good. The princess poofs away. Oh, fuck. Although you managed to escape any sort of consequential punishment from Celestia, you have a feeling Twilight may not be so merciful. Wow. Uh, Twilight, I... That was the most hurtful thing I've ever heard. I'm so sorry, I... Celestia must value me as a friend even more than I thought! I'm sorry, what? Princess Celestia has never been that mean to me before. What a monumental expression of friendship. You have learned today that Twilight is a dumbass. You're not exactly sure how to move forward from here. You could cut your losses and confess now, or you could ride it out. In other words, Twilight will either kill you now, or kill you later. Let the ride continue. Yeah, uh, totally. Uh, I was practically tearing up over here. Twilight hugs you. This is the best day of my life, Anon. Thank you so much for being such a faggot. You hesitantly hug back. Um, right back at you, fuck bucket. Anyway, it's almost two, so I have to head over to school. What? What? Why? I told you about this, didn't I? I'm giving a presentation about the library. Oh, dear lord. To... to the children? Of course. You should put a stop to this. You should put a stop to this right now. Think of the children! The auditorium is open to the public for the presentation. Uh, you're welcome to come. The children, Anon. The children! Nah, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The ride continues! Well, I'm off. The presentation is at 2.30 if you're interested. I'm pretty sure Applejack will be there. It's a good day to die. I'll be there, Twy. Good luck! See ya, faggot. You spot a familiar cowboy hat as a small crowd files into the auditorium. You're not sure if you should try to sit with- Oh, howdy, Anon! Never mind. Oh, hey there, AJ. What brings you here? Oh, I try to beat all the Apple Blooms events. Well, it's good to see you. Uh, I have a feeling Twilight's got a good presentation in store. The two of you take your seats just behind the school children. Twilight peeks her head from backstage and excitedly waves at you. By the way, Anon, did you know what happened to Rainbow Dash yesterday? She was yelling at some shit, man. I was not trying to hear it. You know what's going on? I don't understand. Oh, you know Rainbow Dash. She gets worked up over anything. Oh, yeah, you're right, nigga. I'm sure it was nothing. Cheerily walks on stage and does that stupid clap, 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 clap thing that magically makes children shut the fuck up. Children, I'm excited to announce a very special guest for this afternoon! 
Charlie seems a bit off, as if a certain purple pony just called her a cunt. Please give a warm Ponyville schoolhouse welcome to everybody's favorite town librarian, Twilight Sparkle! Twilight approaches the podium through a half-hearted applause. Thank you, children. I'm so happy to be here. Let's get started, shall we? She leaves the stage for a second and returns with a big pad of easel paper for her presentation. Twilight gives a quick wink. Applejack might have just heard your sphincter clench. Oh, dear lord. You alright, nigga? You squirming more than a black nigga in jail. What the fuck does that even mean, Applejack? Yeah, yeah, just a little warm. Twilight very slowly opens the easel pad to the first page. Here we go. It has a picture of a stack of books and it says, The Library. Oh, okay, that's not bad at all. Maybe Twilight knows her limits after all. My little faggots. You look around the room to see every pony's jaws dropped in disbelief. But no one stops her. Everyone just stares, dumbfounded, as she swears at children. It's as if you're inside a cartoon or something. The fact is, is that you are all fucking stupid. You're children. That's just the way you cunts are. You walk around breaking shit and hurting yourselves all the time. No one likes you little jizz dwarves, and frankly, the only reason you all exist is because fucking kicks ass. She turns the page to a picture of a brain with a bunch of mathematical formulas floating around it. Luckily, there's still hope for you little faggots. Hell, if a cunt like Cheerilee can land a steady job, you'll all be fine. Anyway, the idea is that if you twat waffles actually pick up a book every once in a while, you might be able to go from a useless sack of shit to a sack of shit that at least has one use. For example, you. Twilight points to one of the fillies in the front row. What's your name? Yeah, you. The one who looks like a living embodiment of her parents' regret. Lion twist! Alright. <laughs> what are you interested in? Other than actively boycotting hygiene products. Well, I... Uh, I really like candy. Candy? You like candy? What, is your super special talent having type 2 diabetes? Less diabetes? Okay, she's a bad example. Literally unsalvageable. Who else we got? Twilight scans the crowd while everyone continues staring in disbelief. Ah, okay. You three. The cutie mark cum guzzlers, or whatever the fuck you're called. Get up here. The three fillies slowly head onto the stage, while there's finally some shuffling and murmuring in the crowd. Twilight's still sporting the same friendly smile as always. So, I look at the three of you, and I see two normal, healthy fillies. The whole room then falls silent for about ten seconds. What happened to you, Cream Puff? Parents drop you in a blender when you were born? Silence. Silence and sphincter clenching. <laughs> but really, Crippaloo, what do you want to do when you grow up? The sound of Skooloo's gentle whimpering echoes through the auditorium. For fuck's sakes, cheerily! Aren't you supposed to be teaching these faggots how to talk? Ugh. What about you, Whitey? I... like... singing. Are you fucking kidding me, Sweetie Belle? Are you fucking kidding me? Look at me. Look at me. The entire town sings a song every other fucking day. If you can name one good reason why you think anyone would ever be interested in hearing a little wank sniffer like you scream into a microphone, then I swear to Celestia, I'll buy everyone in this room tickets to your first big concert. No? That's what I thought. You're going to die a worthless faggot, just like your worthless cripple friend. Charlie breaks into tears as the rest of the crowd grows restless. And that leaves us with you. Last, and objectively least, the Earth Pony. I want to start off by saying that you smell like you slept in a cow's asshole last night. I mean, I know you live on a- Alright, I had enough of this shit. Applejack tramples your testicles on her way to the aisle before she sprints directly towards Twilight. Literally each children in the room is crying. Twilight gazes into the crowd with joy as she sees- 
Twilight gazes into the crowd with joy as she hears dozens of ponies yelling at her in the most genuine insults and threats that have ever graced her ears. The audience is very clearly forming an angry mob. You watch in a state of numb apathy as Applejack swiftly tackles Twilight and stomps her out of consciousness. Oh dear lord. Oh dear lord. 